In this video, we're going to look at type 1 and type 2 errors associated with hypothesis testing. And to do this, we're going to look at a little chart here. So across the top here, we're going to say that there's some truth about the population, and we don't know what that truth is. But it's either that the null hypothesis is true, or the null hypothesis is false, meaning the alternative hypothesis is true. Over on this side, we're going to take a sample and we're going to try to make a decision about the population based on the sample. And our decision is one of two things here. Either we fail to reject the null hypothesis or we reject the null hypothesis. Let's take a look at this situation right up here. If the null hypothesis is true and we fail to reject the null hypothesis, well, what type of decision was made? Well, a correct one was made because the null hypothesis is true. We failed to reject it, so that's a good thing. Now let's take a look at this situation down here. If the null hypothesis is false and we reject that null hypothesis, again, we've made the correct decision. That's a good thing. Let's look at this situation now. If the null hypothesis is true and we reject it, we've made an incorrect decision there. Again, the null hypothesis was true, but we rejected it, saying that it was false. We've made an error. Let's talk about what type of error this is. So we rejected the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis was in fact true. That's called a type 1 error. Reject the null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is true. Type 1. Now let's look at this final situation here. The null hypothesis is false, so we really should reject it, but we fail to reject it. So again, we've made an error. What type of error that is that? When you fail to reject the null hypothesis, when in fact the null hypothesis is false, that's called a type 2 error. Fail to reject the null when in fact the null is false. So these are all the possibilities or possible outcomes that can happen in a hypothesis test. In two cases, we make the correct decision. In two cases, we make an incorrect decision. One of them is a type, two, type 1 error, and one is a type 2 error. Let's look at a couple examples real quick. Here's an example where we would be testing for a disease. So somewhere up here, there's a truth about the patient. Either the patient does not have the disease, or the patient does have the disease. Then we take a blood test, let's say, and we get some test results. The results are either negative, saying the patient doesn't have the disease, or a positive test result, saying the patient does have the disease. Let's look at our four cases again. Right here, the patient does not have the disease and gets a negative test result. That's the correct result. That's good. Right down here, the patient does have the disease. We sure hope they get a positive test result then. That would be the correct result. What about down here? The patient does not have the disease, but yet the lab results come back positive, saying that the patient does. That would be what we call a false positive, and that's a type 1 error. Right up here, the patient does have the disease, but gets a negative test result. We'd call that a false negative, and that's a type 2 error. Let's look at one more example here involving a criminal trial. So somewhere out there is the truth about the defendant. Either the defendant did not commit the crime or the defendant did commit the crime. As a jury, we don't really know the correct answer to that. Over here, jury's going to make a verdict based on the evidence presented. Either not guilty or guilty. If the defendant did not commit the crime and the jury finds the defendant not guilty, that was the correct verdict. If the defendant did commit the crime and the jury finds the defendant guilty, again, that's the correct verdict. What about right here? If the defendant did not commit the crime but was found guilty, then that would mean that the defendant was wrongly convicted, and that's a type 1 error. And our last one here, if the defendant did commit the crime but was found to be not guilty, there wasn't enough evidence to convict, 
then the defendant was wrongly acquitted, and that's a type 2 error.